Thank you so much for joining us today. So we all know that some trends come in and then some trends leave and some of you may try and some of them you may go ahead and give a hard pass on. But today we are going to share 10 of the must have fall trends that you ladies should be trying if you haven't already. We personally have been loving them and sharing them with you organically here. Everything that we have as far as trends that we've got some pieces that are still available. We are going to link them and down in the description box below and we're also going to make sure that we pin them in the comment section for you guys. But wait, there's more. I just want to make one quick announcement before we move on and I want to say a big happy birthday! <laughs> When this video comes out on Sunday, it will be her birthday. Oh so God. please make sure you wish her a happy birthday down below. I'm 20 years young. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this first trend is just exploding everywhere. I think that Christina and I definitely really noticed it the most when we went to our LTK convention. Of course, that was all about fashion. So we're seeing some of these super high fashion influencers and they were all wearing baggy wide leg jeans and they were rocking those jeans. They looked so cute. So this trend has been everywhere. You know, we have definitely seen this moving into more relaxed denim for a while now. We started out with those skinny jegging type of jeans and then we saw it move into, you know, we've got the slim straight that most of us have come to love. We've got flare boot cut, but now we're seeing even more of this wide leg style, which can be a bit intimidating for a lot of women. I totally get it. I was intimidated as well. And I will say it's not probably the type of jean I wear the most often, but it is the type of jean that I wear when I want to really look like fashionista, like mm -hmm. really, like you're really on the top of the trend. So it's a really fun one. And it's definitely one that's worth trying. There's such a great variety. And I would say that my number one tip for really wearing this style of jean is just balancing it out, which is something that we have preached in lots of videos. If you're going to wear something wide and loose on the bottom, use something a little bit more fitted on the top. Absolutely. And if you are someone who also has a curvier body shape, you might think, oh, well, this is really going to apply to me. But this uh, strategy really applies to anybody regardless of what your body shape is. And it's because you want to make sure that you're balancing the top part along with the bottom because it is a looser fit on bottom. If you do have a looser baggier top, it will give you a little bit more of that frumpy dumpy kind of look. And that's not what we want to go for. So absolutely making sure that you have a little bit more of either a fitted like t-shirt top, a bottom suit even more of a fitted sweater is a great thing to do the other thing is also make sure that you take a look at lots of colors so during the fall we're going to be pulling a lot of medium wash maybe dark wash a denim but also don't forget there are some really great like black uh, jeans out there gray jeans that are out there you can also have a lot of these neutral whether it's like a beautiful tan colored or a cream colored jean these are great to also pick up in this style so for sure one that's on trend and one you definitely should be trying and before we we begin the next trend I just wanted to share my jewelry and the top that I'm wearing with you so this is a gorgeous pumpkin colored square neck top that I found from Amazon very budget friendly this one has more of a fitted look through the body along with some balloon style sleeves along the cuffs I thought that the color of this was so pretty I really love the square neckline this is one that also comes in a variety of of colors and because it has this beautiful square neckline I decided to style it with this chunky style chain link necklace this one really gets to be highlighted with this particular type of neckline along with a textured gold ring this is one of my favorite rings that we recently picked up so I am wearing this one constantly Another fashion trend you should absolutely be wearing right now are colored sweaters. So you can get a variety of different options with these gorgeous collared sweaters. Everything from some of these collars are larger. Some of them have more of a polo style collar. You'll also see some that have a natural V neckline. Some have zipper options. Some have button options. It really doesn't matter which size collar you pick or whether they have buttons or some other, you know, uh, 
zipper details that are on it. Pick the one that you like the best, but there is an explosion of these collared sweaters that are out there. And of course they are going to come in a variety of colors and styles. Some are gonna be a little bit looser, some are gonna be a little bit more fitted, but all of them are definitely on trend. Yes, we have been loving this one. When I went back to look at some of our photos, I found that I have definitely collected quite a few of these recently. And what I love is that there's such a variety, even in the fabrics that you can get. Some of them have some ribbing. Some of them are more like a tr traditional type of sweater. Last year, last season, I think that we saw a lot of V-necks or scoop necks. This is just a little bit of a variation. And it makes sense that Christina and I really love this because we love our collared button up shirts. So this is just a little bit of a take on that. Everything from, like Christina said, the giant open collar to a more traditional style collar. These are so great and they really work beautifully in a casual lifestyle, maybe paired with some jeans, but also dressed up a bit with some dress pants, possibly for the office. So we have found so many cute ones. Some of them have different details on them. I had recently found one that had like a little bit of like this raw hem type of detail. We've even seen some like puff sleeve details on some. So lots of great variety, just a fun little element to add to a classic sweater and definitely something that we have been enjoying. Okay, so I wanted to pop in and share with you what I'm wearing today. So you may recognize this top from an express haul that we did. This is a tie neck metallic top. It's got like a little bit of a sheerish fabric to it, but it's not see-through. It's got a beautiful little metallic detailing, which makes it a perfect special event or holiday style top. This tie neck is actually removable, so I love this one. I love that it has the classic long sleeves with the little button detail. Just definitely a fun night out type of top. And for my jewelry, I'm wearing a ring that I also picked up during our express haul. It's got some beautiful like crystals in it. It's a nice chunky statement ring and some really cute little chunky huggy earrings and that is my look for today. So while we're on the subject of necklines and collars, another one that we have been seeing so much of is the square neck top. So this is also a really fun new variation. Christina and I both really like to have more of that decolletage area kind of exposed. It definitely creates some length to the body. It can be very slimming, very flattering. And of course, we usually gravitate toward a V neckline or even like a scoop neckline. So this is another option that we now have, which is this square neckline. It's very flattering on the body, and you can see this in a lot of different things, tops as well as some dresses. It can be in anything as simple as like a t-shirt to a sweater to even a sweater dress. It's just a really beautiful option. Definitely a great one if you like to show off some jewelry or you just like to have a little bit more of your skin by your face exposed. Definitely one that is very flattering on a lot of women. Yeah, and I think that the reason why it's so flattering is because it's really sharing a lot of the feminine parts of a woman's neckline. So you get your collarbone exposed, you have the lengthening of your neck that naturally happens when you have a square neckline. You also really get to draw some attention by wearing some of those chunkier jewelry pieces, whether you've got a chunky maybe chain link necklace, you could also have a layered necklace that's very easy to style when you have this type of neckline. So for sure, one of my favorites, I know that several of my sweaters from last year had this square neckline, so I am so happy that they are bringing it out in full force this year. All right, so this next fall fashion trend that you must be wearing now is one that we naturally gravitate towards, and that is blazers. So you might think, oh, you ladies live in Florida, you don't really have the opportunity to wear blazers that much, and that might be true, but that doesn't <laughs> stop us from buying lots of blazers. So ever since we started our channel, almost like what five, six years ago, mm -hmm. we have always picked up additional blazers, especially during the fall and the winter seasons. And the thing about the trend this year that's a little bit different is that now we have two different style of blazers that are very popular. So you'll have the cropped blazer in addition to the oversized blazer. So maybe depending on your body shape, you might gravitate towards one or the other, but both of them are definitely on trend. Yes, I can't help it. I love them both. I think that probably Probably being someone who is more petite and short-waisted, the cropped blazer probably is the one that suits me best. So if you are short-waisted or if you're petite, maybe you feel like you get lost in that oversized boyfriend blazer, definitely check out the cropped blazer. It can really work well for you. 
but I can't help it, I just love them both. I definitely feel that the oversized blazer is the perfect choice, especially when you're going for a more casual vibe, although it can be dressed up, but it's easily works with sneakers, things like that. The cropped blazer definitely can give a little bit more of like a sophisticated, you know, elegant kind of vibe, although I do try to style it with my sneakers too, but they're just both great options, lots of variety. Definitely try them out if you haven't yet. I feel like a blazer just elevates any outfit, even something as simple as a little tank top and some jeans. It's always the perfect addition. So kind of on the same line as the blazers, this next trend is another one that I think is just such a great layering piece, and that is the lady jacket or lady cardigan. So we had a few different variations of this. Some of them kind of fall more into like a jacket category. Some of them are more like a traditional cardigan, but the look is very similar and it really screams like, Jackie O, Princess Diana, Chanel-esque. It's just very chic, very on trend. We are loving this look. A lot of times you'll see like some piping details around the jacket or the cardigan. You'll often see some like novelty buttons, maybe in some gold or have some kind of like pattern to the buttons, just lots of pretty details. We even have some we found with like some pearl details, some metallic threading, just so many great variations. But no matter what you choose, whether you're going for more the jacket style or the cardigan style it gives just such a designer expensive type of look and there are so many great ones out there right now so this is another great layering piece that's going to elevate your outfit and really just add some interest to a simple look yes and this is an easy one that you can really dress up so of course this is going to look great with the heel even if you want to style it with maybe a pair of denim just to kind of keep it a little bit more of on that comfort level but but don't think that the office or a highly like elevated event is the only time you can style this type of look. You can actually wear these very, very easily with a pair of sneakers, with a pair of loafers. If you want to keep it casual, we'll make sure we definitely share some pictures of how we personally style them. But this is a great look because it's taking some of that like elevated look and then mixing it with more of a casual vibe. So that's how we like to do it just to keep it very wearable, but it's one of our favorite trends because it's just so pretty. It's a very classic look. And of course, it's super hot, very on trend right now. All right, so this next one is probably one of my absolute favorites. I don't know, to be quite honest with you, I'm really loving all of these. So you might be hearing me say that a lot, but the next one is loafers. So loafers are for sure a very classic style of shoe. And the fact that they are on trend right now is just really like pennies from heaven for me. So it's such a blessing because I get to wear all of my loafers with my different outfits. I've shared a couple of them with you that I've been loving. I think this year for the loafer, we still see that traditional loafer in the past, but there is a little bit of difference we've been seeing this year. Some of the loafers have a bit of a lug sole, others also have a heel to them just to create some height. And also some of these loafers you'll see, they will have the horse bit hardware detail that's on it. Some of them will not. And of course they come in so many different colors. So this is a trend that I really love, whether I'm styling it with just a white button up and a pair of denim or whether I even want to style them with a cute little sweater dress. Yes, well, for me, after spending years in Catholic school, I vowed to never wear another <laughs> loafer, <laughs> but I'm a liar because sure enough, I like this trend a lot. I definitely have embraced it. I've got some that I really love, so it really is just such a cute one, and especially when you're going for like more of a funky look and you add that chunky lug sole heel loafer, it definitely gives a really fun vibe and a little edginess to something that is very classic and preppy looking. So. I really enjoy it. I think we have found some really good ones and this one has been going strong for a while and although we are seeing lots of variations to keep it fresh, you really could take out your loafers from you know way back when and if they still fit, you could put them on today and they would still look fantastic because everything with loafers really is on trend and it's just such a good classic style. So this next trend is one that I think was probably made famous by Hailey Bieber when she started to wear these Bottega Veneta teardrop style earrings. 
So these have just become so hot that we now see them being done by every designer out there, being worn by every celebrity, and definitely when we were at our conference, being worn by every fashion influencer. And we're so happy that we found some really budget-friendly, affordable pairs that are very similar, but this is just a really beautiful trend. This is an earring that I feel like you could really wear it dressed up, or you could really wear it very casually, and there's variations of it. You have some small smaller ones, some larger ones. We have some ones that have like a little beaded detailing. They come in silver and gold. So definitely an earring style that I am loving and I'm so glad it is super on trend. Yeah, and I think too, a lot of women are really loving them because also of the difference in sizes. So if you're someone who maybe feels like a larger earring tends to pull down on your ear a little bit, they've got the cute little like mini teardrop earrings. Like Kelly said, they can also have some details that are on it. But if you are someone who really likes the larger ones, we've found that they are not heavy at all and our hair tends to kind of, you know, cover a bit of our ear. So when you do have that larger teardrop earring, it really does still show. So whether you've got blonde hair or whether you've got brown hair, that beautiful gold or silver earring will be there. It's prominent. It's in your face. But if you're someone who likes to have a little bit more of a minimalist look, then you can go for those smaller teardrop earrings, just as pretty and just as on trend. Okay, so this is another one I'm excited about because Kelly and I found so many good pieces that fall into this next category and that is sweater dresses. So we have found a huge variety of sweater dresses. Everything from more fitted sweater dresses, maybe that are maxi or midi length or even a little bit above the knee. A lot of them also have some waist detailing. So whether that's with a little uh, tie belt or maybe it's a faux wrap tie type of sweater dress. A lot of them too also that Kelly and I have been loving have that like collar detail or have that like polo style detail, whether it's a zipper or naturally creates that neckline. There are so many options, whether you want something that's a little bit baggier and casual or whether you want something that's elevated for the holiday season, you are going to find it with these beautiful sweater dresses in so many different colors. Yes, I'm so excited this year because I have to say this is a trend that I often felt like I was kind of on the sidelines because sweater dresses in the past, they tend to be quite fitted and they really work better for like an hourglass type of body shape. So if you are someone who has more of like a straight up and down body shape, maybe doesn't really have a lot of curves, they can be challenging when they're very fitted. However, this year I feel like I've found so much of variety. Everything from like that looser fitting balloon style dress that I can wear it a little bit short and it's loose on the body and really cute and casual. Or I've even found one that was belted, has more of like a traditional wrap dress style that I absolutely love. So I feel like this year they got really good at creating a huge variety of sweater dresses. So I just want to say if you're someone who has shied away from that, definitely give it a chance because I feel like they're really is something for everyone and I love the variety that's out there. I was so excited to find a few that I could actually wear this year even though let's be honest we do live in South Florida yeah. so it's gonna be limited but I can't help it. I, I had to keep them anyway because I just think they're so cute. Yeah and if you also are someone who really loves that like elevated look that we were talking about before they even have some great sweater dresses that have that tipped detailing in it so we'll have all of that linked down below. Okay, so this next one is one that I have definitely been embracing, and that is the tie neck top. And we're specifically talking about the tie neck that kind of looks like you are wearing like a man's tie and you just let it hang open, or it can be you know, tied into like a little loose knot, or you can even do a bow up here. We've seen some of that as well. These have really been everywhere. I'm starting to see them popping up everywhere, and I just really enjoy the look. I think it's fun. I think if you like something a bit undone, leaving it open is really fun. If you are someone who likes more of a crew neck style, you can do the bow, and that can be very like Victorian, feminine, girly vibe. So this is going to be available in lots of different like color options, 
skins. A lot of times we're seeing them in these like elevated silky or satin type of shirts, but I've also seen them in like cotton button up shirts. So it's just a little fun detail to a very classic shirt that makes it a little bit different and a little bit fun. Yeah, and some of them also now are coming out where they don't even have the buttons in the front. So it has the um, material with just the option to tie the bow. So if you are someone who really does prefer more of that like crew, like closed off neck look, then that might be one that you prefer because a lot of times when it does have buttons, it does naturally kind of create more of this V neckline, which I know for some of you petite ladies, that might be a problem for you. So yeah, lots of different options. And I think also too, during the holiday season, this is also a great style of top to wear because a lot of them will come out in these beautiful like holiday colors. And you'll also see some of them have this met uh, metallic threading that runs through it. And that is a detail that's on a top that very quickly lends itself to the holiday season. You can style them with a cute um, pant or you can keep it a little bit more casual with maybe like a pair of jeans. So it really just depends on which event you're going to, but it's a great top to pick up, especially during this season. And just like how we've seen the tie neck tops kind of coming in at least for the past few years, but really exploding this year. The same thing is true for this next trend and that is jumpsuits. So jumpsuits also have been around for a long time, but right now we are seeing an explosion of jumpsuits. And this year we're also seeing a variety of different details. So some of the jumpsuits might have an elastic around the ankle to create more of this balloon kind of look to the legs. Others might have more of a straight leg or a wide wide legs, some may even have a flare leg. So lots of different choices for the bottoms. You also will have some that have some differences around the waist. So some may have a belt, some may not. Some may create even more of a, a dramatic belt where it has material on either side that you can then wrap into a knot to really accentuate that waistline. And then of course, there's going to be so many different options with the neckline and with the shoulders. You might have some puff sleeves going on. You might also have a crew neckline or a V neckline or even a collar on the jumpsuits, but all of them pretty. We also saw some that even had some of this like tip detailing that we were talking about before so really pretty and of course the colors for fall are just absolutely gorgeous yeah jumpsuits are great because it's one and done mm -hmm. so you don't have to think about you know what am I going to style this with it's definitely like a great option if maybe you are not feeling like wearing a dress to an event a jumpsuit can be a very elegant sophisticated and equally glamorous look for even something that's quite formal I've seen some beautiful like formal jumpsuits so it's just such a great option to have, whether you're doing a very casual look jumpsuit with maybe a pair of sneakers or so you can do something with an ankle boot, all the way up to a fancy glamorous jumpsuit that could literally be perfect for a gala with some gorgeous strappy heels. There are so many great options and I just love that it's one piece. I know that for some of you, the big thing is how do you go to the restroom? I feel like we get that question all the time. You don't, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If it looks really good, ladies, it's worth a little bit of effort. So I don't know. It always just seems to work. Usually they have some kind of easy closure that you can do. But you know, when an outfit looks fantastic, you just put in a little bit of extra effort and you wear it because they're so beautiful and we absolutely love them. All right, so we shared our 10 must-have fall trends that you ladies should be wearing right now. If you ladies want some more fall outfit inspirations, then definitely check out our latest Amazon fall fashion video. We'll make sure to link that one down below.